And good day, all of you. John Henderson here, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another Beverage Ramble edition today. Monaco Original Hard Lemonade, uh, 9% ABV. This is a malt beverage at its best. Um, I picked this up at one of the local service stations today. Or grocery stores, I should say. Man, what the hell is this? It seems like eating my neck out. Anyway, um, it's 9%. It is a say malt beverage, but I don't know what the hell to call it. But anyway, um, it's clear, uh, made with vodka, um, a premium mixed cocktail made with vodka, honey liqueur, and natural lemon flavor. So chill or on the rocks. I put this, I had this in the freezer for a good while. This is what it looks like. So... 9%. I've seen this a while. I know Jay, uh, Louisiana Beer Reviews, of course, from Jay Terrio. Um, he has reviewed this, uh, a few, several flavors. So this is my first one I've done on my channel. So as you can see here, it's a nice little mixed drink here. House of Monaco in Cold Spring, Minnesota. I'm sure it's owned by some conglomerate, but may, might be an independent company for sure. Definitely, you get the lemonade scent right there in the nose. Um, honey liqueur. I don't know if there's some in it, but maybe there is. So, all right. Anyway, not much to really smell. I'm wondering if they're using cane sugar in this or natural sugar. Cane sugar or granulate sugar or instead of corn syrup, you know. I'm guessing it's natural sugar or cane sugar. So, all right, let's have at it. Cheers. When I bought one can, maybe I should have bought another can, but for a nightcap for the evening. You know. Not too bad. I'm guessing it is. But I'm getting more of the honey liqueur in this. The vodka is very underlying in this co in this mix, uh, mixed cocktail. Um, I'm sure they're using some vodka in this, but, you know, for for review purposes only, I think I'll maybe add a little Bariska classic vodka to this. I know, folks, you're saying, G Mr. P, you don't do vodka. No spirits, right? Yes, I know, but you know, just a little, add a little something, something, you know. So, and I'm sure people will do this if they get these mixed drinks, these mixed cocktails in the can that are sold are, are within, I would say, the last five years. Well, let's, let's go back a little longer than that. You want to say the, the La Marita line? Um, Going back in 2008 or 9 when they made that debut by Budweiser, AB, Ibev. Um, if we're going to go. I mean, Seagram's, yeah. And of course, they've been around. But now, the last couple of years, I mean, even more so than ever. I mean, a lot of these companies and even some of the breweries are putting out a lot of these mixed drinks, mixed cocktails on the market. And um, they've done quite well. There's some that even are, are a lot popular. I think one I had done. That was 9%, well, 10%. was an iced tea type of mixed drink. It was very good. I bought this at Tower. I forgot the name of it. Uh, Zing, I think it began with Zing Zang, something like that. But that was really good. Really enjoyed that one a lot. And I think I might have infused it with a little bit of some rum I had in the house. So. Yeah, that, adding a little vodka kind of helped a little bit. But I'll definitely put some ice on this one. So for sure. Um, yeah, like I said, these mixed drinks, these mixed cocktails have been out for, here. one, two, three, four, five, six. the stuff I'm looking in my room right now, stuff I'm going to have to start using up quickly, use that cereal, use that, use that, use that, definitely for mental beans, or definitely some pasta. Okay, back to reality, Mr. P. Um... 
this is nice. This is quite nice. Again, I I'm guessing they're using natural sugar in this or cane sugar. I'm not doubt using any corn syrup, but you know, again, when it came poured in the can, you can see it was the clarity, clarity of it. So no caramel, no artificial flavors, or anything like that. So, um, yeah, so if you go on the website, you'll see a bunch of different flavors in this for Monaco. Um, they have a classic margarita, a spicy version. They have a peach. All the hard lemonades, they have a regular original. They have a peach lemonade, and I think a strawberry lemonade as well. Um, you know, a flew over the cocktails, and they're, and they're very popular. I, I've seen got, I see folks, you know, with the service station or any pack store, they're, big, they're, they're buying this size can, which costs about two bucks and change. About two, about about two twenty five plus tax. So you're paying about close to three bucks, you know, near there. You know, have the tax and all that. So nice, enjoyable cocktails in the can. Um, I say sometimes make your own, mix them if you want to do something like that. But then again, you know, hey, it's all prepared for you. And of course, if you want to infuse it, infuse it. Um, we'll definitely see these sort of drinks on on the parade route or at parks or any picnics, whatever, you know. They're nice. They're enjoyable. Hard sodas. There's one I know I sell at Trader Joe's. This that's quite good that I like. Uh, there was a hard Italian soda that was really good, 4.2 percent. I didn't infuse it, but I know it went well with a nice piece of uh, toast I spread with a little of uh, um, tomato uh, pesto, and that went quite nice with it. It was perfect. It was easy. It was simple. Nothing big about it. So. Yeah, so I'm gonna enjoy this a little bit cocktail a little bit later more. This is nice. This is nice. If I get a bigger can, I don't want to buy another can of this. Nine percent. I add a little more vodka, but I think I'm gonna chill for a good while. But I think this is really good. The, the original hard lemonade, really good, very enjoyable. Say so check it out if you ever get a chance to buy it. So original hard lemonade by Monaco. I'm going to go nine on this one. So this is an A minus for me for the style. Check it out. I think they're using natural sugars, which would be cane sugar, whatever, or natural, not granulated, not granulated sugar. But I doubt they're using any corn syrup on this one. So you don't get that flavor at all. So very good, very enjoyable cocktail in a can. Monaco Original Hard Lemonade. Check it out at any location, pack store, liquor store. Or service station in your state that does serve alcohol, you will enjoy for sure. John Henderson, PF the Beverage Ramble Team. Keep on watching as always. Cheers, live, laugh, and love. Monaco, 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 original lemonade. That cool, refreshing drink. Oh, yeah.